Mav's contestants are reaping the benefits of their newfound fame with club appearances, brand deals and contracts with Australia's top talent managers. Meanwhile, others are struggling to find steady work and have spent their past couple of months reinventing themselves. Is this another publicity stunt attempt by Olivia trying to make herself look like she doesn't shame women when we all know she does? Moving on. Since emerging as a fan favorite from season 9 of Married at First Sight, Ella has gone from strength to strength. And while she still technically lives in Melbourne, Ella has been spending most of her time in Sydney since the show finished airing. And you know why? That is because the 28-year-old has formed a solid friendship group in Sydney with Brent, whom she's rumored to be dating, but is not, best friend Dominica, Jack, Al, and Selena. I call them the best six. With more opportunities for her growing career, Ella, who now boasts nearly 580,000 Instagram followers, revealed she is moving to Sydney in the next few months. I love being back in Melbourne, my hometown. I love Melbourne so much. But it is that cold. It's currently 12.5 degrees. It hasn't been long since leaving the show, but Dominica is already on the way to solidifying herself as one of the most profitable and successful season 9 Mavs stars. In April, the makeup artist signed with top celebrity agent SF Management, Dominica has been the first Mavs star to land a fashion collaboration. Today, on the 16th of May, Dom launched her own fashion collection with Showpo. Hi guys, it's Dom and welcome to my collection with Showpo. Dominica attended several shows at Afterpay Australia Fashion Week alongside Ella, securing her title as Australia's latest big influencer. The 29-year-old revealed during a TikTok that she also has her sights set on starting her own makeup line. Dominica told Women's Day in late March that her dream job would be hosting her own radio show, adding that she would like to work for a major beauty brand. Dom has also put her fame to good use by creating and selling her own merch, embracing her famous line, my body, my choice, biatch. With 20% of all sale proceeds going to New South Wales and Queensland flood victims. Since the show, Brent has remained close to Dominica, Ella, Jack and Selena and gained a BFF in Al. Perkins. The pair have created a joint TikTok channel where they regularly keep fans updated with their hilarious antics. In April, Brent and Al accompanied Ella to her hometown of Melbourne where they spent some time with her mother, Mama Belinda. Then in early May, Brella went on a romantic couple's getaway to far north Queensland. They have just landed from Melbourne to Sydney. We need Brent here and we're going to Port Douglas. I'm excited. Ella revealed she and Brent shared a kiss while at their hotel, saying, I just grabbed his face. With Brent adding, it just happened. I just I grabbed did. his face. She did. <laughs> I she did. actually grabbed my head and no. yeah, so. Wow. The former co-stars said they got to have a really honest and open conversation while away together. Despite the obvious chemistry between Brent and Ella, they're yet to publicly confirm they're in a relationship. Aside from his abiding romance with Ella, Brent has kept busy with regular nightclub appearances and brand sponsorships. Season 9's resident villain has had a rough time since Mavs wrapped up. The silver lining to Olivia's career woes and internet trolling has been her relationship with Jackson. Olivia revealed in March that she'd lost her job as a direct result of the show. Really? My dog stepped on a bee. But is now trying to get back into the workforce. After the show wrapped, Jackson moved to the New South Wales Central Coast to move in with Olivia and the pair are more in love than ever and spreading more rumors than ever about any and everyone that is not part of the Mean Girls. Since being sensationally dumped by Brent in the final vows, you became vindictive, spiteful and self-absorbed. You're tacky and I hate you. I was made to feel like a fool, chasing you around for the smallest amount of decency and respect that anyone in the world should show another human. Wow. 
the refusal to give in or let go, and eventually the inability to be kind destroyed us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh. I've seen the real you, the one who doesn't respect me or anyone around her. You don't have any real loyalty to anyone, and I realize you lack all the qualities I'm looking for in a partner. You are not God's gift to humanity, so stop looking down on everyone. So on that note, good luck, good riddance. <laughs> Tamara has gone on to form her own post mavs friendship circle, The Mean Girls. Tamara regularly hangs out with Olivia, Jackson, Sam, Kate, Jessica, and of course, her roommate, Bay Mitch. However, in April, Tamara cleared up speculation that she and Mitch are not dating, saying they're just good friends. In early May, Tamara and her Mavs gang enjoyed a wild boozy party to celebrate her 30th birthday. Meanwhile, Tamara's influencer career is slowly taking off as a micro-influencer. Yep, you heard me, I said micro-influencer. The 30-year-old who boasts 110 Instagram followers attended Afterpay Australia Fashion Week where she was seen rubbing shoulders with her fellow reality stars.